Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart together to go over the most important support and resistance levels that you have to be aware of going into the next few days of trading and I'm going to be going over the exact reason why we are currently getting a rejection from the level that we are. So I'm going to be giving a lot of really useful and key information and education in this video. So make sure you turn off all distractions around you now and give full attention to this video. You are going to thank yourself as we're going to go over some amazing predictions and what is happening right now on the Bitcoin chart. I will be giving you that exact reason we are rejecting from where we are. So let's just remind ourselves why we actually come down to this far. We've come down to around $32,000. As you know, from the last video update that we done, we were shorting that weekly at $38,000. We were saying about the importance of why we were shorting here and the targets that we can have to the downside. Just want to remind you all by playing this really quick clip when we were giving that massive Bitcoin warning while everybody was really bullish up at those highs. This is a big resistance for me this weekly. OK, really big. We have daily support, which if lost, I could foresee a large drop coming to the downside. OK, at least to the base of the pump. Which is obviously around 32,000. So what I was saying there is obviously during that video, we were making it very clear that we were shorting Bitcoin while everybody was really bullish up at those highs. We were shorting Bitcoin, looking for a really massive move to the downside. It's exactly what we got, ladies and gentlemen, in total, a move of 16 percent. And have a look where we started to bounce from. It is around the base of the pump at thirty two thousand dollars. In the end, that low coming in at thirty two thousand two hundred and sixty. But I can up this once more. We obviously haven't quite reached the bottom of the pump. So why is this? Well, this is what I'm going to explain to you right now. And this is pretty advanced trading. It's it's the concept is pretty advanced. Um, I'm going to try and keep it simple and within two minutes. But I do want to try and help you and educate you of why we got this bounce underway here and then why we're rejecting here. But that's before we go over the rejection. Let's go over this pump because I think it's extremely it's just really, really nice trading, to be honest. Um, so please. Pay attention. I know it's a little bit advanced, but I'm doing this to try and help as many people as possible. So to have that help, I want to go over to the Instagram. Uh, this Instagram story is obviously I do pretty urgent updates on Instagram, how I'm taking my trades. And this is called an open rejection reversal. So essentially you open at the daily, you come down to test your key reference level, which for me was the point of control and our weekly level. And then you get your reversal. So it's an open. You, you get your drive. And then you reverse off of your key reference level, which for me was that point of control and the weekly. OK, so we had our key open. We basically reject off of our key reference level and we reverse to the upside. So if I just walk you through this really briefly, as you can see, the minute or the, literally the second daily open opens, I was like, right, this is a short because what you're going to do is you're going to open the daily and people that kind of know what they're doing or, or can move the market almost. You want to try and get down to your reference level. As you can see, the, the, the massively important thing is you've got to take profits, because if you do not take profits on a daily rejection reversal, you're going to lose money. So taking profits is obviously massively key. As we were still making our way down here, it's just, you know, you, 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 you've got to know that you open, you come down for your key reference level where you've got to like lock in your, your profits. This was $33,000 within a matter of minutes on this one. Again, hard realized profits. You come down, you test your key level and basically you, you, you finish your open rejection reversal. So you open, you get your quick move to the downside. You've got to take profits at your key reference level and then obviously you look for the reversal. So I know that was pretty advanced and most people probably aren't even going to understand. But nevertheless, <laughs> if you're in the contenders and champions group, we've gone through this in a whole contenders video. It's just called open types. You can go back and refresh your memory on the website if you'd like. But basically, this is the open rejection reversal. We open, we get our drive down to test our key level. You've got to take profits on that position. And then you look for the reversal to the upside. Ladies and gentlemen, why did we reverse to the upside here? Why did we bounce off of a key reference level? Ladies and gentlemen, there's only one reason why this is happening. And it's right here right now. I'm going to tell you the CME gap. Quite simply for me, it was the CME gap. So basically we had our open, we drive down for the open. Again, that's going to get people extremely bearish on the open, only to essentially trap the shorts that don't take profits. 
and reverse it to the upside to guess what fill the gap this is what i was saying last night when asked about that post that i made here about the cme gap they don't have to fill obviously but i think it makes sense this one does a nice liquidity run of the highs before down again so essentially what i'm saying here CME gaps don't have to fill. Of course, they don't have to fill. But what I'm saying, I think it's the most likely that we do actually move up to fill this gap before any more downsides. Okay, and then have a guess, ladies and gentlemen, what's happened this morning? The CME gap has been filled. So basically, up until this dollar high was the CME gap being filled. And as soon as we filled that CME gap, we have started to see our pullback. How magic is that? How magic is that? From being able to short the daily open to recognizing that we're going to get the open rejection reversal to fill the CME gap, to filling the CME gap, and now seeing a pullback. So in this video, I've given you thus far the exact reason why we were bouncing here, the exact reason why we're rejecting right now. And in my opinion, that is because the CME gap has been filled. And each time this has happened, each time this has happened, it has caused a move on the market. So the CME gap is extremely important. And it is important once again here as it started the pullback. So you might be wondering then, okay, where's the next important support levels? Where you, where's your next really big targets? Well, the way that I would approach this currently is I feel that you have a really well-defined range. So in, in the way that I trade, I think that you've got to approach this of, you know, when you come up to the, when you come up to the high of a range where average trader is really bullish, I personally look for shorts. And when you come down to the low of the range, where the average trader is really bearish, I actually like to look for longs. <laughs> Who would have thought it? But average trader normally gets it wrong because they get very emotional. Okay, average trader, very, very emotional at the lows, thinking, oh my God, it's going to crash. Very emotional at the highs, thinking, oh my God, I need to buy right now because otherwise it's going to go off without me. Okay. What we like to do is flip it on our heads. And when you come down to the lows, you look for longs when it comes up to the highs, you look for the shorts. And obviously we can say we're around the top of the range right now. I could arguably, you know, there's a few different reference points where we could try and take this far. I'm going to keep it very simple in this video. I'm just going to say we have a clear level of, you know, the last major high before the move down here. So we can arguably say we have a key high and a key low. And if that is the case, and we're not looking at this as the CME gap. I'm going to keep this very simple. And we could still say that there's a potential move to the upside to the higher that range, which is coming in at around 35000 for, you know, let's just say $35,500. So if we're going to be essentially looking for this range to form, then there is still the potential of another move to the upside to around $35,000. You might want to say, okay, I don't want to jump into a short straight away. Uh, maybe, in, you know, this is... Again, I'm not giving financial advice in this video. There is no financial advice in this video. I'm never going to tell you what to do with your money. All I'm doing is giving my opinion on the charts. Uh, obviously, I put my money where my mouth is. I trade my analysis, but I'm not telling you to do anything. But what I'm saying is a potential here, if we're looking for further upside, and that this is really for me if we clear the CME gap. Okay, that's so crucial. But if we clear that CME gap, then we obviously can be looking up to around that 35,500 for the potential high of a range, which we could imagine going something like this before obviously looking back down to the low of the range. And really simply that low of the range is basically coming in at around 32,200. And then you have that resistance basically coming in at around 35,500. So you, I believe that we have a clearly defined resistance and a clearly defined support and a clearly defined reason of why we're actually pulling back here. What we got to monitor now is, is this a bull flag for, for reaching the you know potential high of this range um alternatively look at the middle of this channel okay just look at it support off the middle of the channel perfectly support 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 resistance 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 back into support that's obviously coming in at around thirty three thousand seven hundred dollars so i mean you have the three levels that you need today you have you have a resistance off the top you have your cme gap and then you have the support of the middle of your channel so it's not like you don't need to be thinking, um, you know, you don't need to, you know, what I'm trying to do is rem like the remove the emotions from the chart. So it's not always like jumping into conclusions thinking, oh my God, I need to be in a trade. I need to be in a short. I need to be in a long. Sometimes you just need to be patient. You know, you just literally need to be patient and wait. If you are struggling with remaining patient, then it's clearly because you don't have a plan. And if you don't have a plan, you're definitely going to lose money in trading. Like that's the only guarantee that I can give you. Like you will lose money in trading if you do not have a plan. 
because you're going to get into the emotions of selling the lows, buying back up at the highs. So what you have to do right now is say to yourself, okay, I have some key reference levels. I have a potential range. Do I want to short a CME gap? Arguably, you're too late to that now because it's already moved down a few percent. But, you know, <laughs> you could say, I want to wait to the top of the range for a short. I want to wait to the low of the range for a long. Or you could say to yourself, I'll trade a breakout. Okay, people may like to trade breakouts. And that's where you could say to yourself, okay, if we break the high of the range, I'm going to look for, for, for longs. And if we break the low of the range, I'm going to look for shorts. So if we break the higher the range, we can look, be looking back up to that daily around 36,000. So, you know, you obviously have that potential one and a half thousand dollar trade. So it's not it's not like there's a there's a 100 percent way that you have to trade this. I'm not telling you how to trade. I'm giving you a few different possibilities. Unfortunately, you're going to have to come up with how you want to trade it on your own. If you want my assistance and you want to know my trade, well, I'm giving that in the champions group. Uh, exactly how I'm trading. So <laughs> that's the bonus if you want to know exactly how I'm trading. In this public video, I'm just giving you the options. I've given you the exact reason why we're rejecting from where we are. 100% the CME gap. 100% this is the reason why we bounced for the basically the, the open test of the point of control for the reversal to the upside to fill the CME gap. So I can pretty much certainly tell you why we came down on the daily open. Pretty much because I was participating in it. That's how I could be so certain, <laughs> basically. But yeah, then I've given you the reason why we're rejecting from where we are here. So I've given you all the key information. I've given you some support, some resistances. What I will say is if you've enjoyed this video, you can give a like down below. And I suppose if we hit, I don't know, 2,000, 2,500 ish likes somewhere in this region, I'll do a live stream for you, public live stream for absolutely free. All you need to do is give a like to the video and I'll be more than happy to go live. Um, if we don't get the likes, I'll probably take the day off, though, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, so I'll wait and see what happens. I hope you have a absolutely wonderful, smashing, brilliant day. Trade this like absolute champs. Don't get emotional. Trade your plans and make some money. Cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much and goodbye.